in March in this room, Joe Cronin said to me, I can't wait to hear what you're going to talk about. <laughs> yeah, hi. Uh, okay. I've been seven and a half years of going here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm an old campus, man. You can keep this new building. <laughs> I walked in and saw the colors and I went, oh God, I painted these colors in my own house. That's <laughs> but I've come a long way from working Disneyland dressed as Indiana Jones and double knit polyester, firing blanks out of a 45, and fiberglass charging hippos. Um, I've met some interesting people along the way. Dr. Sue Van Allen, the lady that likes the point. You know, you've got great black hair. Why are you dyeing your boots white? <laughs> <laughs> Last year in this room for this same setting, she, had, she said pretty much the same thing. It's, it's not how much money you make, it's learning to live. And that's exactly what I've been doing, is living. I intentionally avoided Jane Brown's class dying as a stage of life, because I've had it in real time. And it just happened this past April for me, so there was no way I was going to take her class. But it was a very touching experience and life-altering. And uh, I'm the only one of my siblings who uh, went astray. They went to Brigham Young University. You see where I came to. <laughs> raised Mormon. Thank you. <laughs> but um, I'm honored to finally add this, uh, this day to the list and to receive the diploma. Thank you for your votes for the two-minute speech on graduation day. I vow not to disappoint. Two minutes is a lot to cram in. But uh, I'm, again, very grateful for those who've been on my path. Thank you. Thank you for uh, steering me correctly. I only know of three personality conflicts, and they were all resolved through karma. Yay, they said. <laughs> and uh, Bill Marvin, what happens at Dale Hollow stays at Dale Hollow. <laughs> right. But thank you again. Uh, carry on. Thank you.